Welcome to the first chapter review of Kingdom. If you haven't read the series, go out there and start reading it because it's that amazing. If you have read the series, congratulations. You know how epic it is. This is the first ever review of Kingdom Weekly Chapter. I wanted to do one, but I don't know if there's anyone that would like me to do it. After my first impression video, I received a good amount of encouragement to persuade me to do the review in a weekly basis. Well, here I am. I would like to thank you for not only encouraging me to review, but to have the time to watch. On to the review. The chapter was more about presenting the plan to evade Gyo in order to attack the capital hard. Though the risk is extraordinary as the reaction were mixed within the room. This was most definitely a hype chapter as we continue to build up the next crucial mission as suicidal. The one thing that this series does it phenomenally well is creating a hype and tension behind anything. Therefore, this chapter does a very good job on creating the tense feeling that this will be a devastating arc, that we will lose someone. As scary that is, it is really good to have that feeling because Giao's invasion is set to create the notion of sacrifice and someone will die. Whether the arc do deliver that extra expectation or not, we are left anticipated to see if that is the case. The chapter was all setting in one room, but it was presented well to showcase that a room with exchanging dialogues can be as intense as fighting. Shin was set as a character that is unfamiliar with the map as well as why attacking Gao is a major risk. Moten's reaction is much like him. As he sees it to be an interesting plan, yet it is something that is left needed to be done to get some actual progress in the battlefield. I really like the uncertainty from his brother, even when he is the one that was with others in the planning room, especially since he can potentially lose him. The chapter was filled with different reaction from the three commanders, though Shin was more like a bystander as he witnessed the other two reacting. Ohon come off as a jerk, but he's not wrong. His reaction was more of a negative insight of that Ten even agreed because just how much did they plan this? Even if the plan won't go exactly the way it goes, no one knows the amount of losses will occur, nor if they can even conquer Gyal. It doesn't help that the supplies are scarce, so it would suggest that there's more to lose than just men heading to the target area. It's a conflicting strategy that really puts you in this tight situation and can't really root for one side at ease. Shohaken's words were encouraging yet frightening for us because there's no acknowledgement that the plan will favor them to succeed without massive casualty. It's all or nothing, but they're the commanders that they have high hope to pull it off. Maybe a miracle if anything. It's a great pressure for them to succeed because the plan can lead to not only a great progress in their war plan but potentially supreme victory. That all said, we are left with great amount of hype for this arc may end up being exhilarating and breathtaking. It was great to see Sei to show up because the king has a tremendous aura to encourage anyone to do whatever it takes. It was evident once the commanders bow and told to rise up to show not only to be on an equal term but to show how much faith he has for them to succeed. I like how Shin didn't bow at first because he felt he's already at his level. Not necessarily saying that he's the king, rather the companionship between the two no status required. Seeing them in one room was a great sight. It left me feeling calm, though the storm has yet to arrive. The entire chapter was all done in one setting, so you don't really see any scenery. However, it was presented with many convincing expressions that set the mood right. It was filled with interest, unsure, rejecting, pressure, and ultimately, filled with confidence. The cliffhanger was a massive tease as the one missing piece is the supreme commander position to this plan. It was getting there to the moment of reveal only to stop short because that's hard a way to tease the hype. So be it. Overall, this was a compelling chapter that really set the bar high for the next arc as Kingdom don't see a sight of slowing down which is fantastic because 
is the among the many reason why this series is excellent and happy to review this chapter. I'm giving this chapter an 8. Thank you so much for watching this first review. I am happy that this series is picking up again and we are about to go for something amazing. Though I am afraid of someone potentially getting killed off and I mean a named character. As for Supreme Commander position, I don't know why, but I got a feeling it could be Kanki. It is possible since it would be a good time to have Ribuku going against him. Time will tell. Again, thank you very much for encouraging me to review. I hope to see you again for the next chapter review. If you like this and want more of this, subscribe to my channel and my world will be yours to stay. Until next time, take care.